Question number five. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Joshua Freeman. You're here at the NFL rookie photo shoot. You're going to be appearing on your first Upper Deck rookie card. Tell me about the feeling. How excited are you? I'm exhilarated, honestly. I mean, I grew up a lot, uh, collecting a lot of cards, and uh, I remember when certain guys' rookie cards would come out, it'd just be really exciting to just see who you got, and uh, to be a part of that, I mean, it's, it's an honor. Do you have any uh, particular rookie cards that you still cherish that you have in your private collection? You know, I've, I, I know I got a Randy Moss rookie card. I know I got a Brett Favre and the Falcons jersey card. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, I've, I haven't checked the collection out in a while. It's still in a shoebox under my bed, but... Uh, what kind of a uh, feeling do you have when somebody comes up to you? Is it a big time honor when somebody asks you for your autograph? Oh yeah, you know, it's um, sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming, but uh, at the same time, I flash back to maybe 10 years ago when I was a little kid trying to get trying to get all the Chiefs players autographs in Kansas City. So, I mean, you got to take time and, and sign things for people, but uh, no, it's, it's definitely pretty cool. Well, that was leading me to my next question. What autographs do you have in your private collection? Something you can share with us today? You know, I have, a, I have a John Elway, I have a Derek Thomas, a Brett Favre, assorted other guys that didn't really last long in the league, but they were available, so I got them. If you could have one signature on the planet, who would it be? It's a tough one. Probably, probably Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan? Yeah. Pre-game rituals. Do you do anything superstitious-wise? that you need to do every game day to make sure you're in the right frame of mind? You know, I don't really have that many superstitions, and um, I mean, it's just kind of ever-changing. If I play well, I might do the same thing the next week. If this is ever-changing, I just try to keep it consistent, pretty even keel, just relax, listen to music, go over the game plan, and uh, visualize myself playing well. Nice. Last question, and don't be bashful with your answer. What makes you the most valuable rookie here today? You know, I think it's, uh, there's a number of things. But I think, uh, honestly, what it's going to come down to in this rookie class is, is worth, uh, excuse me, work ethic and the ability to just out, downright make a play.